What's up guys, Evan Leroy from Leroy and Lewis back here with another giveaway video. But first, I think the most exciting announcement in the history of this restaurant food truck business. I wanna back up first and just kinda of talk about how we source everything, how we deal with our purveyors, why we choose to have different meats on different days. You know, when we first started to do this new school barbecue thing, this locally sourced barbecue thing. I thought it'd be a lot easier to kind of bring people on board. The idea is that there's something in between the best barbecue places and the best locally sourced like new American restaurants. That's kind of what we're trying to achieve here. A little bit of creativity, a lot of local sourcing, and still some of the best barbecue you've ever had in your life. When we first tried to open the food truck, the story of how we came up with the beef cheeks, we had all these events booked during March, during South by Southwest. It was probably a month or so before we had opened the food truck. And just through friends and everything, we booked all these events for South by. All these people wanted brisket, but we couldn't get the brisket because our purveyors at the time didn't have enough. And so we went with beef cheeks. We tried to cook them in a similar way and that's kind of how we came up with that dish. Rather than compromise on our most closely held belief and mission here, which is to support local ranchers, local agriculture, local farmers, we chose to find a different path, forge a different path. That's the idea. It's taken us a long time to be able to make this announcement. It's taken us seven years plus. And we finally, finally have the resources, have the partnerships with local ranchers, and the purchasing power, serve brisket every single day. Every single day that we're open, just like every other barbecue restaurant in Texas, we are going to serve Dean and Peeler briskets every day that we're open. Not just that, but we're gonna have brisket, beef cheeks, and our house signature flat iron all six days a week when we're open. That is Wednesday through Monday every single day. Coming with that, the tri-tip is going to be moved to our dinner menu. We're doing this because we think that those three meats, brisket, flat iron, beef cheeks, are probably gonna sell out through lunch, at the end of lunch, maybe halfway through dinner time. We wanna have some sliced beef for you guys during PM dinner service. And then that way we can cook those fresh, we can have those ready for dinner, and you guys can come in and get a really nice sliced tri-tip for dinner here, six days a week and then brisket, beef cheeks, flat iron for lunch six days a week. Also, we are going to be adding a few more entree items to our Anytime Eats menu, dinner menu, uh, that will kind of replace what we would have been serving on the barbecue line. Think about like a pork chop, think about like a steak that we've been doing, trying to bring the steak dinner to a more like personalized experience here on a nightly basis. So those are kind of the two basic announcements that we're talking about here. Brisket every day, beef cheeks every day, all of our sliced meats every day, and then also we're gonna go with a couple new entrees on the dinner menu. With adding a few things to our regular menu, we're also gonna have to subtract a few things as well. You know, six months in the restaurant, just kind of trying to look at the things that sell the most, look at the things that are desired the most, look at the things that sell the least. Unfortunately, some of the items on the Anytime Eats menu are gonna be dropping off. It's gonna become a little bit less of a bar menu, a little bit more of an ancillary kind of extras menu, and then we're gonna add some entrees to that at night to kind of replace the barbecue meats that we might run out of uh, during the day. Some of the things dropping off, uh, not forever, I'll say that. They might come back as specials, but we're gonna say RIP to the Italian beef, we loved it. I loved having it on the menu. I love having JPG Jardinera here in the restaurant so I can just eat it anytime I want to. But unfortunately, you know, without a bunch of extra kind of sliced beef scraps or if we're trying to run out of meat every day, we're not gonna be able to have some of the sliced beef reheated in that jus with that Jardinera for the Italian beef. So for now, rest in peace Italian beef. Also, this one hurts a little bit more than the Italian beef, the pork burger. 
R.I.P. to the pork burger. It was a staff favorite. I think it was everybody's favorite thing on the menu. Just nobody ordered it. We would grind up a bunch of pork for it and have it ready. Nobody ordered the pork burger ever. But I think I have some good plans for pork burger. I uh, want to do a specific special pop-up just with that. Some fries cooked in lard. Just do a whole like pork-based fast food pop-up fun style thing. What else came off? Snack board. Rest in peace to the snack board. The guac and chips. Outlaw Jack. Outlaw Jack. You know, the outlaw had its time in the sun, but you know, just like the rodeo burger, whatever else, the McRib, it's here for a limited time only. It was here for a limited time only. Maybe we'll do another little Outlaw Jack Western rodeo pop-up sometime soon in the future. Keep an eye out for some of these things coming back in limited capacity. But for now, Anytime Eats menu being shrunken down uh, to only the essentials and then adding a couple entrees in the near future. I think we have one of these pork chops ready today to test out. So before we get to the giveaway stuff, let's go take a look at that pork chop. We are taking our pork chops off of our barbecue Wednesday special menu. What we're gonna do is start cutting them in singles like this and smoking them on the offset and then finishing them on the grill like this. It's gonna be a dinner special. This one is specifically a hunter's style pork chop. It's a Matthew Bromley recipe with some seared king oyster mushrooms. So this is a test. We're trying this pork chop out. We just got a new brand, a brand new bandsaw that we're all very excited about. Hopefully we get to start cutting steaks and chops on that bandsaw. Maybe a little bone marrow, who knows. What else can you tell me about these? These are from Hi Fi Mycology. Uh, we, they came in, they were the size of Evan's head uh, or my head or your head. We just broke them apart into manageable sized portions. Seared them in pork fat for pigs that we render in the house. Flash them in the oven, giving them a little kiss on the grill to make them nice and crispy. And then they're gonna get plated with a white wine, mustard, and pork penny sauce. Like and subscribe. That looks so good. Look at that. How about a hunter's chop? Anywhere else you can get this in Texas? You need some green. I think uh, just like some fresh chopped parsley is great. Oh yeah, there you go. Look at that guy. Ooh. Pumpkin seed gremolata. Really good. Really, really good. The like offset smoke gives it like a bacony flavor. Really tasty. I wanna try this high fi mushroom too. Whoa! Crispy mushroom, really good. This is a hell of a dish, really, really tasty. Our friend Jess Priles has just premiered a brand new television show on the Outdoor Channel called Hardcore Carnivore. You know about Hardcore Carnivore. It's her book, it's her brand, it's her rubs. It is Jess Priles. It's an awesome show. We did her premiere party at the Yeti flagship store down here in Austin uh, earlier this week, and we're giving away a couple of her rubs. Sending the Hardcore Carnivore three pack that we sell here at Leroy and Lewis. The red, which goes excellent on ribs. The black, which is your all purpose steak seasoning. Get that nice crust. Then the chili lime, which we rim our micheladas with. Delicious stuff, all going to Masa Shiohira. Thank you, Masa, for being one of our biggest supporters. Uh, a good friend. Thank you for subscribing to the Patreon. Uh, reminder, the only way you can win one of these giveaways is to subscribe to the Pitmaster tier of our Patreon. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this video. See you next week.